Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. This is our next problem. Problem having been chosen from the same book, Modern Physics by Stephen T. Thornton and Andrew Rex. As usual, we first come to its statement. Compute and compare the electrostatic and gravitational forces in the classical hydrogen atom, assuming a radius 5.3 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 meter. Okay. Dear yes, students, not only we have to compute, but also we have to compare which one is greater and which fraction is. Okay. Uh, two things electrostatic force and then gravitational force. Okay. Formulas for these two are separate. Mostly Coulomb's law is applicable basically okay now we come to its solution <coughs> but before starting its solution in a proper manner we first go through a few snapshots which will enable us to understand the foundation of the solution okay solution first snapshot is about electric force and potential energy of two interacting charges okay electric force is f equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q1 mod or q1 magnitude or q1 modulus value into q2 modulus value q2 magnitude q2 absolute value denoted by r square okay this is the expression for electric force Second is the expression for potential energy. Potential energy is denoted by u. u equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 over r. Over, okay. Dear students, what is the difference between these two? The difference is that in potential energy, r is a single while in electric force, r is in square. Okay. This is the basic formula for calculating electric force and potential energy. However, gravitational force formula is not yet included. Okay, dear students, in the next snapshot, there is a table of physical constants. Okay, this table contains so many values. We will pick only that value which will be used in the solution of this problem. Okay. So, we, we have considered this table many times in our previous problems, previous videos, okay? So, for the time being, we skip uh, further explanation of this snapshot, okay? Dear students, this is the next snapshot. The next snapshot is about gravitational force, okay? Newton's law of universal gravitation states that the gravitational force of attraction between any two particles of masses m1 and m2 separated by a distance r has the magnitude f e equal to g m1 m2 over r square here small g is written as a subscript of capital f meaning gravitational force okay f for force and g for gravitational Gravitational force Fg, where G is written as a subscript of F, is equal to capital G into small m1 small m2 over r square, where capital G is equal to 6.674 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 Newton into meter square divided by kilogram square is the universal gravitational constant, okay? Here G is the universal gravitational constant and its value is given as 6.674 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kilogram square. This equation enables us to calculate the force of attraction between masses under many circumstances. Okay. Dear students, in the next snap, next snapshot is about basic masses. Okay, basic masses proton, neutron, electron, charge, plus E, zero, minus E, and then mass, okay? 
first in terms of kilogram and then in terms of atomic mass unit okay this table will also be used or utilized in solution of this problem okay now dear students now we are going to start our solution in a formal manner okay using f equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 magnitude or q1 mod or q1 modulus or q1 absolute value into q2 mod or q2 magnitude or q2 modulus value or q2 absolute value divided by r square okay we are basically following this formula but here because force is electrostatic so we can write small e as a subscript of capital f it will not make any difference moreover here q1 q2 can be replaced by e because e is the elementary charge e is the charge on an electron as well as or proton okay charge on electron and proton are equal but opposite okay here dear students because e is in square here minus sign will not come okay because actually we are taking a mod or modulus value or absolute value of charge okay so here minus sign will not come in place of q1 we will take e and in place of q2 we will also take e so it will become e square over 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 over r square we have given equation number 1 to this expression put in this equation dear students we will put e square over 4 pi epsilon epsilon naught equal to 1.440 million electron volt into femtometer and number 2 radius r is equal to 5.3 into 10 to the power minus 11 meter okay dear students here radius small r is provided in the statement while the above value that is e square over 4 pi epsilon naught has been taken from the table which is included uh, as a helping tool in our uh, snapshots okay let us go to that snapshot okay that snapshot uh, this is the snapshot where e square over 4 pi epsilon this last okay e square over 4 pi epsilon naught is equal to 1.440 electron volt into nanometer or equivalently million electron volt into femtometer okay nano means 10 to power minus 9 while femto means 10 to power minus 15 million means 10 to power plus 6 okay we are going to use this value in equation number one okay so now we move to that portion where we left this video okay this okay in equation number one we are going to use these two values okay one from statement and one from table of physical constant in equation number one we have when we put these two values in equation number one then the remaining part is only simplification okay f e electrostatic force becomes equal to this 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 okay what next what we are going to adopt methodology here dear students as i have already said that million stands for 10 raised to the power 6 femto stands for 10 raised to the power minus 15 okay so mm, uh, uh, remaining uh, nothing else here we have taken square of 5 square of 5.3 is 28.09 and square of 10 raised to the power minus 11 is 10 raised to the power minus 22 okay square of meter is meter square okay anyhow remaining just a simplification just a simplification in here we have replaced capital m by 10 raised to the power plus 6 and small f that is femto by 10 raised to the power minus 15 okay next is just simplification just simplification next dear students uh, here we have uh, 
कन्वर्टेड इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट इनटू जाउल ओके फॉर दिस पर्पस वी वंस अगेन गो टू दैट हेल्पिंग टूल ओके दिस इज द हेल्पिंग टूल डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी आर सीइंग दैट वन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट इज इक्वल टू 1.602 पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो टू इंटू टेन वे टू दावर माइनस नाइनटीन जाउल ओके कन्वर्सली वन जाउल विल बी इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाई वन पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो टू इंटू टेन रेज टू दावर प्लस नाइनटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट ओके सो वी आर यूजिंग दिस फार्मूला टू कन्वर्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट इंटू जाउल ओके This is the situation. Okay, we have converted electron volt into joule. Okay, here dear students, meter square and here simply meter meter uh, one meter will remain in the denominator, which can be written in this form. Okay, meter inverse. आफ्टर सिंप्लीफाइंग वी रीच दिस कंक्लूजन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट वन सेवन जीरो टू इंटू टेन रेज टू दावर माइनस सिक्स जाउल पर मीटर एंड वी नो दैट जाउल पर मीटर इज इक्वल टू न्यूटन सो दिस इज इक्वल टू एट पॉइंट वन सेवन जीरो टू इंटू टेन रेज टू दावर माइनस एट न्यूटन वट चेंज वी हैव मेड वी हैव शिफ्टेड डेसीमल टू स्टेज अहेड टू स्टेप्स अहेड दैट इज वाई This power 10 raised to the power minus 6 is increased by 2. It has become 10 raised to the power minus 8. Okay, dear students, to this extent our solution is complete. But just as a fashion or as a facility, we have shifted it two stages ahead so that this quantity becomes a real. Num it uh, digit complete digit eight eight point one seven zero two okay zero point zero eight one does not seem a reasonable um, quantity or value okay that is why just as a fashion or uh, as a convenience or as a matter of practice we have shifted this decimal two stages ahead. Uh, and, and in doing so, this 10 raised to the power minus 6 becomes 10 raised to the power minus 8. Moreover, joule per meter is equal to newton, and hence we have here uh, used the unit newton. Okay, more force has unit newton. Okay, now dear students, we are going to other part that is gravitational force. Okay, using gravitational force fg equal to capital g m1 m2 over r square equation number 2 put g equal to this and r equal to and m1 equal to this m2 equal to this r equal to this okay dear students actually this value of gravitation constant g is provided in this snapshot which we included in this problem radius r is given in this statement Now we come towards M1 and M2. What are M1 and M2? For this purpose, we once again go back to our snapshots. This is okay, dear students. This is basic masses: proton, neutron, electron, charge plus e, zero minus e, and then masses these, 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 these. Okay. So here, dear students. M1 and M2. One value is this value 1.672.6217 into 10 raised to the power minus 27 kilogram, and other value is 9.109 into 10 raised to the power minus 31 kilogram. Okay. Yes, friends. Uh, it, it does not make very much difference whether we use this as M1 uh, or we use this as M2. Okay. M1 or M2 may be used any one of these two. Okay. So, dear students, value of radius is provided in the statement, while value of gravitational constant capital G is provided in the snapshot in which 
gravitational force was defined okay moreover m1 and m2 have been chosen from that table which we visited recently okay okay one value is 9.109 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram and other mass is 1.673 into 10 to the power minus minus 57 kilogram okay in equation number two okay dear students we get net next what just simplification dear students just simplification we will not explain the simplification steps because it is almost um, middle class mathematics okay dear students actually this is uh, this uh, 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 fg enumerator had become lengthy enough that is why it has been broken in two parts okay this value multiplied by this value these two lines are just enumerator while in the denominator uh, this value 5.3 into 10 to the power minus 11 meter okay okay dear students now next just simplification just simplification just simplification Yes, we'll say M square will be cancelled with M square. Okay, and hence our gravitational force Fg will become equal to 3.62 into 10 raised to the power minus 47 Newton. Okay, dear students, electrostatic force Fe was also in Newton and Fg gravitational force is also in Newton. Now we compare these two. When we compare these two, we conclude that this implies that electrostatic force Fe is very, very greater, is very much greater than gravitational force Fg. This implies that if we take their ratio, that is if we put greater value upper and divide it by lower value, then Fe electrostatic force over gravitational force Fg. Okay, electrostatic force Fe divided by gravitational force Fg becomes equal to 2.26 into 10 raised to the power 39. Okay, this is the comparison which we were required to make. Okay, this is the end of our problem. This is the end of our video. Till next video, Allah Hafiz.